Sometimes you get a backpack and then you just search for a purpose for it. But there's other times where you just have a need and you really want to find the best backpack for that need. And that's what happened here. I needed something to carry all of my drone equipment, two different kinds of drones, all the batteries, everything that I need to go out in the field and shoot with these drones. And I didn't have the best solution for the way I wanted to use this bag in the field. So I went and looked around. And what I did was I actually looked at a bag that I've reviewed in the past that I regrettably sold. And this is a bag that when I sold it, I immediately regretted selling it. It wasn't a great multicam black X50 configuration, which is one of my perfect combos that I've said in the past. And I do really love that combo. But then I needed to find another one. Well, just as luck would have it, the Brown Buffalo came out with an X50 in this Tropic Multicam. And so I got that to build out into a ultimate drone hauler. So we're gonna go through how I pack this out and show you why this is the best bag for hauling around your drones. All right, I know you're not crazy. We're in a new studio, same basic colors. I'm still tweaking the lighting, the audio, all that stuff. So uh, bear with me as I do that, but we're gonna get into one of my favorite all-time bags. This is the Brown Buffalo. This is the 21 liter conceal. It's an X50 in a Tropic Multicam configuration. I got this, like I said, because I wanted to use it for carrying drone equipment. So we're gonna go through this bag and how I do that, how I carry it and how I pack it out. That's really gonna be the focus on this video. So 2023 didn't start out that great. I grabbed this bag, packed it out the way I wanted it, took it into the field and flew the drones around and had an epic Crash. So yes, it didn't start out that well for 2023. And uh, but the good news is I found the drone and I'm already getting one um, shipped to me en route thanks to DJI Care Refresh, which is super cool. And this bag works perfectly for a lot of different reasons. One of the main reasons is just the way this thing is built. It does a very good job of being a launch platform. Not the way you see it right now because the drone's actually sticking out this front panel but when it's completely flat, uh, it just takes off very nicely and I can put this thing anywhere and uh, I actually landed it on this too, which takes some real skill. And if you're interested, at the very end of this video, I posted my whole crash sequence so you can go back and watch that if you're interested. Otherwise, this is really about this backpack. How do you carry this thing? Well, the very awesome backpack straps, which are very typical and very padded and very well done from the Brown Buffalo. Always have a sternum strap. They have these disconnect options on their back panels, which are super cool. Um, just really awesome. Also, how do you carry it? Handle, very awesome. Now, how do you pack it out? Well, before we get too far into the weeds of, <laughs> see what I did there, the weeds, that's where I dropped my drone in the weeds, but how do you pack this thing out? In the back panel is a very awesome conceal pocket, hence the conceal. And you can use this for a laptop. It is not, you know, elevated. So just be careful about that when you're packing it out. What's, what can you keep in here? Well, you can keep a lot of things. And one of the other accessories that I picked up from the Brown Buffalo this time was their basically little holster deal that you can find that they have occasionally. So this thing fits perfectly. It's got Velcro in the back, a little adjustable loop so you can, you know, adjust um, whatever firearm that you're gonna put that in there. And then it just, you, this attaches anywhere there's a loop. And there's loop on the inside of the front of the bag so you can put this thing in there. And it fits very, very nicely. This pocket is sizable. I also have, I just realized it was in there. I didn't even notice it. Uh, but it's still in there. This is the DJI OM5. Don't typically carry that in there, but you can put stuff in there. You can also put a sleeve or some of the other brown buffalo accessories, some of their modifications. They sell several things. This is the laptop sleeve, which is cool. It has loop on the front so you can stack other things on with it. This has some pen slots, some stretchy pockets, something for maybe your iPad mini and another zipper pouch so this thing you can put this anywhere on these brown buffalo bags this is another mod that they sell side maybe put it in the front pocket with side uh, zippers and that kind of thing so very very cool all the hook on the back of this stuff so you can use these things 
it adds a little bit of weight to the bag. Just think about that if you're going to add those to it. These typically all live inside my 19 liter Black Ops edition, which is also super cool. Did a video on that. Back to how I have this thing out in drone mode. And really, the reason I love this, first of all, it looks awesome. It's X50, will protect everything. And then what I really what drew me to it, two things. First, I've got these GORUCK field pockets that were shooter edition. They have hook on the back, so you can stick those things anywhere. You'll see that in a second. But the other thing that drew me to this bag, the reason I really wanted this, first of all, I missed the one I sold. It was terrible. Um, so I was really wanting to get back into this. And the fact that they've got this big front pocket is actually perfect for the drone itself. So it's a little bit dirty, don't uh, judge me. Uh, it's completely filthy from its crash. But this holds the DJI Avada inside the front. The other drone folds completely down and you don't need this big pocket, but this fits nicely and it's robust enough. To stick in the front pocket, go out, and then you're quick and easy to launch. Now when you take it out, like I said, launch platform, because you don't want to suck up any of the leaves or grass. You just put that sucker on top and then zing, it goes off and landing it can be challenging because you got a small launch pad. But I just love the fact that I can carry this bag anywhere, put it down, launch it, recover it, and be just fine. It carries everything else, uh, which is cool when you crash the drone because then you can pack up all your stuff in your backpack and head off into the weeds and the muck and the mud and the river and, and recover whatever you lost. That's the DJI Avada. Now, other than that, this front pocket, it's got the loop inside, so you can use some of those organization mods from the Brown Buffalo. There's a key loop inside, super cool, that's awesome, whatever. Uh, I really just plan on putting bigger items in the front of it, like an iPad or really the DJI Avada. That's how this thing is gonna be designed and used long-term. Other than that, you know, standard big YKK zips that zip all the way around the corner. Big fan of any bag that does that because it just makes the clamshell go flawlessly versus having to fight some material and just bending over the front panel. But anyway, nice wide open compartment in clamshell mode. The front area, super cool. And it's, this is the standard 21 liter configuration. First of all, it's bright orange. Uh, X-Pack on the inside, which is super awesome. You can actually get this one with a yellow interior. If you go to Huckberry, they sometimes are having returns come back in. You can maybe pick them up, so sign up for alerts at Huckberry. I'll put a link in the description to that one. Brown Buffalo site ones are orange. The yellow ones are from Huckberry. They also have a Huckberry logo on the front panel. Inside configuration, pretty much standard on all the more modern Brown Buffalo bags. Two just dump pockets. They're not you know, there's no enclosure here. There's no way to keep this thing closed. So just think about that. If you totally get this bag upside down, everything's gonna fly. Out. These pockets are big and I like it because right now I just got batteries shoved in there that uh, will be quickly accessible, but they're big enough for really anything else that you might have with you to put in there. Like you could put the goggles in there. I put the other drone uh, just slid in there so you can really operate out of this bag a lot quicker. Right now it's in sort of transport mode where everything's sort of secure. Now you got those big pockets and then a big nice open mesh in there. And that's where I keep my cables and actually the battery and some ND filters. So that's kind of just quick accessible on the go. Now the main compartment, like I said, is loop on the back. And that's standard brown buffalo right there. More about this in a second. But this loop and you can use those, the laptop, sleeve or those other mods from the brown buffalo or anything with loop or hook on the back of it so you can just customize this however you want it and this is where this bag really kind of appealed to me because i wanted to put these two field pockets in there and they just velcro in and again this is the avada goggles 2 inside this one and it just sits on the top elevated so it doesn't get crushed if i throw this on the ground and then this is the controllers, both the regular controller and the, the motion controller all fit inside just perfectly. So I'm really ready to go on the move. What fits in the bottom? Well, it depends. Now, if I'm gonna go in transport mode, uh, I could put the Avada in the GR2 sized field pocket. This is the X-Pack version. I could put that sucker in here and this, this thing would just live in the bottom, just like this, super cool. But when I'm in you know go mode, I'm gonna use it in the field. I'll just slap, slap it in the front pocket and then it leaves tons of room for other stuff. And this is drone number two. This is the DJI 
Mini 3 Pro and the controller and batteries all fits in this Peak Design tech pouch. And that just sits in the bottom with plenty of room to grow for other things, maybe a water bottle in there, uh, you name it. Just tons of room in this 21 liter size. It does fit bigger than a typical 21 liter bag, in my opinion. But it is still plenty awesome and very, actually just the super build quality that you're gonna get out of any of these brown buffaloes is super awesome. All right, so that's it. Super awesome on this one. One couple little things, you know, no AquaGuard zippers on this build, but it is X50, very weather resistant. Brown Buffalo attachment points up here, super awesome. And then the standard luggage pass through, which I didn't talk about yet, it's on there as well, which is super cool and awesome. So really love the material, love the color, and it's gonna be drone hauler mode when you see me in the field. If you see this bag, it's me and I got the probably the DJI Avada, which is being shipped to me. And again, stay tuned if you want, you can watch the whole crash video. Eh, it was fairly dramatic. Anyway, if you like this video, let's do the things down below, super cool. It does help other people see the video. We're gonna spend some time outside today, later. It's really kind of rainy right now, but in the meantime, enjoy the outdoors where you are. Hopefully the weather's broken. Uh, it's not snowy, rainy, or, or that kind of thing. Uh, and you're enjoying 2023. More to come from the studio as we tweak all the sound, the lighting, the angles. It's just, I've got a lot to learn with this new setup, but I wanted to get into a new space because this does allow me a lot more room for bags. I went from 10 hooks on the wall to 24. So over double and lots of room to just kind of see everything. Um, so I can just see what I'm gonna do next. So there it is. Uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.